Let's answer her post. So, ang gagawin na lang natin ay yung solution kasi meron na siyang mga answers. Siguro ito yung answer key sa reviewer na ito. Question number six. The ratio of salary of Joel to that of Joy is five is to four. If Joy receives 10,000 pesos, how much is Joel's salary? Joel to Joy. Si Joel is to Joy. Five is to four. If Joy receives 10,000, ito si Joy. 10,000. Ilan naman ang dito? Ang gagawin lang natin, i-divide natin ito. 10,000 divided by 4, and that is 2,500. 10,000 divided by, huh? divided by 4 is 2,500. Itong 2,500, i-multiply mo sa 5. 2,500 times 5, and that is 12,500. Para mas maintindihan lang, uulitin ko lang. Itong si Joel to that of Joy, Joel to Joy, 5 to 4. So, si Joel ang 5, si Joy ang 4. If Joy receives 10, si to si Joy, 10,000, how much is for the, uh, yung salary ni Joel? Bali, itong 10,000, i-divide mo siya ng 4. Equals 2,500. So, itong 2,500, i-multiply mo ng 5, that is 12,500. Ngayon, double check natin. Kung itong si 4, i-multiply mo siya ng 2,500, that is 10,000. Ito namang si 5, kung i-multiply mo ng 2,500, so 12,500. In other words, ito yung salary nila, 12,000 is to 10,000. Tapos kung i-list natin yan, i-divide natin yan ng 2,000, 500, both i-divide natin, and this is 5. Tapos ito naman i-divide din natin ng 2,500, and this is 4. So, 5 is to 4. So, ang answer ay 12,500. Number 7. Dominic spent one-fourth of his money on a pair of socks, one-fifth of it on a magazine, and 50 on a snack. If he had 82 left, how much money did he start with? So, let M be yung money na nag-start siya. I-minus natin sa one-fourth of his money. Ito yung money niya, one-fourth. So, M divided by four, one-fourth man. Plus, itong one-fifth, M pa rin divided by five. Kasi one-fifth man on a magazine and 50 on snacks. I-minus pa natin ng 50, itong original na money niya. Tapos, ang natira ay 82. So, ito na yung equation natin na nabuo. Next natin gawin ay isolve ang equation na ito. So, ito ang unahin natin itong ginawa natin sa loob ng parenthesis. And this is uh, 9m over 20. Kasi ito, wag na lang natin shortcut, ang uh, least common denominator nila ay 20. 20 divided by 4 equals 5, 5 times m, that is 5m. Okay. Dito naman ay 20, 20 divided by 5 times uh, m equals 5, uh, 4m. Kasi 20 divided by 5 equals 4, so 4 times m equals 4m. Kaya ito, naging 9m over 20. Kaya... Ang answer dito ay 9m over 20. So, kopyahin lang natin yung iba, yung the rest sa equation natin. 82. Next, ito, i-transpose natin sa kabila. So, bali, mag-minus tayo, ay mag-add tayo ng 50 to both sides. Mag-add tayo ng 50, kaya makancel na dyan. Dito na si 50. Gawa tayo ng ibang kulay para mas klaro lang. 82 plus 50, 132. Tapos, kopyahin lang ito. 9m over 20. Minus, uh, m minus 9m over 20. So, it, dito na naman tayo. Ito na naman ang isolve natin. Next. Then, ang least common denominator nila ay 20. So, 
20 over 20m minus 9m over 20. So ito ay 20, uh, 20 minus 9 equals 11m equals 132. Kasi nag-equals lang man tayo para dito. So ito na yung equation natin na naman, ang pinakalas na equation natin. 11 over 20m equals 132. So, i-transpose natin, i-divide natin. 1, 3, 2 divided by 11 over 20. So, ito, kopyahin si 1, 3, 2, maging multiplication nito. Reciprocal ng 11 over 20 is 20 over 11. And that is, ito, i-multiply natin ito. Pwede rin hindi mo i-multiply ito, mag-divide ka na, mag-divide ka dito sa kabila para hindi malaki masyado yung numbers mo. So, 132 divided by 11, that is, 12, 12 times 20, and that is 240, 240. So the answer here is letter C. Number 8. Miss Buffer receives a 2% commission for every car she sells. If she gets a total commission of 128,000 pesos, what is her total sales? Uh, mas magandang i-rephrase mo yung uh, given or yung question pala yung 2% na yan yan yung si 128 okay 128,000 is 2% of what number or, or what sales okay so 128,000 ang is ang equivalent niyan ay equal so, 2% ang of, ang equivalent niyan ay multiplication. Tapos, yung what number or what, uh, yung total sales niya ay pagpalagay natin letter N. Ito na yung equation natin. So, 1, i-rewrite lang natin. 128,000 equals 2% times N. Now, yung 2% that is 0 0.02. 2 times n tapos i-divide natin pareho ng 0 0.02 para makancel si 0 0.02 sa kabila at dito na siya. So, bali, ma-isolate na si n dito. Ngayon, 128,000 divided by 0 0.02. I-mano-mano natin para mas uh, klaro sa inyo. 128000 over 0.02. 1, 2. 1, 2. So, ito ang i-divide natin ng 2 na. Okay? Na kuha nyo. Yung decimal natin, 1, 2. So, nagdagdag ako ng dalawang 0. So, ngayon, ang bagong numbers na natin ay, ang bagong number natin ay 12,800,000. 000, 12,800,000 divided by 2. So, ang answer ay 6, 8, and this is 4, so 8. So, bali, 0, 0 na yung natira. So, ang answer must be 6,400,000. Wala sa choices, so letter E ang sagot. None of the above. Number 9. Condoleezza has a long strip of cloth that is 9 and 3 fourth decimeters long. If she cuts it into 3 equal parts, how long would each piece be? Si 9 and 3 fourth, gawin muna natin siyang mixed number. 9 times 4 equals 36 plus 3 equals 39. So 39 over 4. Itong si 39 over 4, i-divide mo siya ng 3. 3 equal parts. Kung mag-divide tayo ng uh, fraction, itong si three, 39 over 4, kopyahin lang si 39 over 4, tapos si division maging multiplication, ang whole number natin 3 ay pariho lang yan sa 3 over 1. So, ang reciprocal ng 3 ay 1 third. Now, i-multiply na natin to 39 times 1 equals 39. 4 times 3 equals 12. Now, ilang 12 ba si... 39 or 39 divided by 12 equals 3. So, 36, 12 times 3 equals 36. Uh, minus 
bali 39 minus 36, you have 3. Kopyahin itong 12 as your denominator. Now, 3 and 3 over 12. Itong 3 over 12, malist mo, mo pa siya by identifying the greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor nito ay 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So, ang answer nito ay 3 and 1 fourth. 3 and 1 fourth. Letter D. Number 10. In the department, 45% of the employees are women. If there are 220 men in the department, how many employees are there? I-revise na naman natin. First, 100% minus 45% equals 55%. So, i-revise natin ang given or ang question. 100, uh, I mean, 220 is 55% of the total employees of T. So, kopyahin natin si 220 is, ang equivalent niyan ay equal, si 55%, ating i-divide na yan ng 100%, and that is 0. 0.55. Si of, ang equivalent niyan ay multiplication, tapos si letter T natin. Now, para ma-isolate sa letter T dyan, ito i-transpose natin sa kabila. That means, mag-divide tayo sa both sides ng 0. 0.55. So, maging 220 divided by 0. 0.55. So, gawin nating whole numbers ang denominator natin. 0. 0.55, 1, 2. So, 55 na siya. 1, 2. Dalawang move natin. So, dalawang add ka ng 0. So, maging 22,000 over 55. Yan na yung i-divide natin. So, ang 22,000 divided by 55, that is 400. So, ang answer dito ay letter A, 400.